the Irish Army defeated those kidnappers some years ago. Uh, there was something for uh, the service well in the 1980s. Uh, Irish Army defeated those kidnappers some years ago. Uh, so they've got rid of that lovely step frontage to it. Uh, it ends up with a 17 pounder gun when the first ones are made. They are sent out to Germany and then they've got that miniature engine at the back. Now the one downside of the miniature is very thirsty. So the range of the tanks, the Centurion tank when they first go into service, is not that great. Uh, they actually build later models with extra tanks on the rear. Now the Centurion is produced for the British Army. This particular Centurion uh, has just been gifted to us by Switzerland. And in 1950, Switzerland, after World War II, they want to buy tanks, they're changing their defence policies, and they, they have old neutrality, the same pretty much upgrades. They put that 105mm gun on. The whole issue of that gun, it's a great British design. What happened in 1956, uh, the Hungarian uprising, the T-55A tank was driven into the British Embassy compound. The defence attack they measured the armour and the size of the gun, 100mm gun. They measured the armour and realised, hang on a second, we don't think our 20 pounds is going to be able to go through the front of it. So there's a project that is put on our tanks, the Centurion, we uh, give it to the Germans, they put it on the Leopard tank, we see it at the moment, the Americans put it on the uh, first of the Abrams tanks. And it's back to how sometimes, I keep hearing about the Ukraine, how a vehicle, one moment, we think it's out of date, it's, uh, it's behind the curve, it's not going to be used in the way we think it will do, a little bit of technology, suddenly it's at the front of the curve again. So when I mentioned that, we're going to see a T-72 in a moment, and uh, just a uh, new one, most of the tanks we've seen here. Thank you. 